Hey, what's going on guys? Good morning. Today we are at the shop. I, uh, we got here a little early, processing a few eBay orders and a couple of Amazon orders before I hit the road. Uh, but I wanted to give you uh, a weekly update on thing, how things are going. If this is your first time here, welcome to Tweak Your Lifestyle. My name is Todd Jacob. On this channel, I'm just sharing my personal journey, trying to do better, making small changes in my life that make big impacts in my faith, health, finances, if that's of interest to you, hit the subscribe button and come along this journey with me. Alright, so get my carnivore update, right? Check out the video before this, week 21. Uh, a little spoiler alert, I am down to two cents. <laughs> uh, we've got 40 more pounds to go to hit my goal. I started at 321. Hey, are you on a weight loss journey right now? If you are, and you've been wanting to start the carnivore diet, or maybe you just want to check out the carnivore diet and maybe tweak it a little bit to fit your lifestyle, because we're all different, check out the free download below. It'll get you going. Let me know what you think. All right, so this week, you know, reviewing, uh, reviewing my journal and I, I'm trying to, man, I'm, I'm trying to do better in my faith, health, finances, right? And, and starting the journal has really helped me focus, really helped me focus. Do you need this journal? No, you get a plain journal. When I see blank pages, I blink out. This, this really, uh, and it challenges me. It challenges me to, okay, what, what am I going to be you know, praying for? There's lots of things to be, you know, that you can pray for, and sometimes it gets overwhelming, right? And so I, I put it down. I put it down in the journal, and then, okay, how? What am I going to do this week for uh, personal growth, right? For um, uh, self development. What am I going to do? And I, and I put this down. Maybe it's a book or a YouTube channel, a course that you bought <laughs> six six months ago, and I mean opened it yet, right? Um, what is it you're going to do to improve in different areas of your life? And so, um, you know, prayer time, you know, I got, I got a lot of Miss Amelia Rose on here, my granddaughter. She's two and a half years old, going through uh, neuroblastoma cancer. It's a rare child's cancer. Um, and so, yeah, I got, she's in here a lot. Uh, your, your thoughts and prayers are felt. They're appreciated. Thank you so much uh, for a quick update. She's, she's doing fantastic. I mean, she's got a long way to go. Uh, she did go through her MI, uh, BG therapy, right? The radiation therapy. The healthcare workers, you know, they, they were just, uh, they, they were just amazed at how well she did on her own. She's two and a half years old. And she had to be in like this glass room by herself. I mean, she could see her daddy, but her daddy really couldn't be in there. He could uh, from time to time when, when like she needed to be changed or something like that, but you're trying to limit your exposure to the radiation. And so he wasn't in there, you know, all the time for sure. And even the healthcare workers, they didn't go in there a lot. They relied on her daddy to do a lot of this, this stuff. He had to go through the training, uh, radiation exposure training and, and how he can you know, help take care of his daughter during this time so that the healthcare workers can limit their exposure to the radiation. So after the, the treatment, her radiation level, it got up to a 70 and it's got to get down to a five before she can have a scan and before mama can come see her because you know, mama's pregnant. So mama couldn't even be in the room, couldn't even be around anywhere. It was driving her nuts, right? Driving her nuts. And so we originally thought Saturday, maybe Sunday, uh, she'd be down to a five, she can come home. It wasn't until Tuesday. And you know, they, they weren't discouraged as far as you know, the physicians, they weren't discouraged. They said, hey, that just means the radiation is working. And so Tuesday they did the scan to make sure the radiation went everywhere they wanted it to go. And it did, right? And so now we're just kind of working on our numbers, trying to elevate our numbers before our next chemo. If you remember, if you've been following the journey, uh, a few weeks ago they extracted stem cells from her. Uh, they put that uh, central line in, in her neck. And, and they pulled the stem cells out and they harvest them and, and now they, they're reintroducing them to the body. They're, they're implanting them back into her um, to help get her uh, numbers up, right? To help elevate her numbers. And so when, when they get to a certain level, they'll do her fourth round of chemo. They say it'll probably be at least two weeks, maybe three. Give her a little break, right? 
And then after the fourth round of chemo, they're going to take out the tumor. After they take out the tumor, it'll be a fifth round of chemo, and then we'll go from there. You know, we'll, we'll go from there. So she still has a ways to go. But thanks again for your thoughts and prayers. Much appreciated. Please continue Ms. Uh, to pray for Miss Amelia Rose. Thank you. Uh, so prayer time. Yeah. Uh, also, I'll put in here, okay, when am I going to, like, I, we go to Four Winds Church right now. We're completely online. Um, and when am I going to, you know, watch, you know, that message? And so I'll, I'll schedule a day where um, I know I can um, be, you know, no distractions and I can go through that. And I also listen to other pastors. I listen to other messages. Um, whether it be YouTube or podcast or whatever. So I kind of schedule those out. And then I write down songs, songs that really kind of touch me. And if there's a song that really you know hit home this week, put it in the comments below. I'd love, I'd love to know. For me this week, it was Brandon Heath, uh, Give Me Your Eyes. You know, give me your eyes for just one second. Give me your eyes so I can see and everything that I keep missing. Give me your love for humanity. Give me your hands for the broken hearted, the ones that are far beyond my reach. Give me your heart for the ones that pass me. Give me your eyes so I can see. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'd pitch that. Oh, but Brandon Heath's Give Me Your Eyes. Uh, mostly, not mostly, it's, number one's a good song. Um, but it talks about, you know, not just going through life with your head down. It's easy to just put your head down and do the work, right? Oh. Uh, Look around, you know. Look around. It, 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 you know, it's not that you have to help everyone, but maybe, you know, maybe God will kind of tug on your heart a little bit and point you in the direction. Hey, help this person. You know, uh, whether you know, pray for them, or uh, maybe you got some clothes you can donate to them that they might need, or maybe, you know, maybe they just need a ride somewhere. Maybe they help need help find a job or something. You don't know. You don't know unless you talk to people. And and I. Hey, I, you know, I'll see someone straight on the road. It's like, oh, I really got to get, I really got to get to this appointment. And I'm, I'm guilty as anyone, you know. How bad is it going to be if I'm 10 minutes late to that appointment and help them change a tire real quick or something like that? It, 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 I'm talking to myself here, you know. But but anyway, this song really touched me. And, and it kind of goes along with the book I'm reading right now. I finished up uh, Evan Carmichael's uh, Your One Word. Awesome book. Okay, great book. Uh, but Kyle Ottoman, Kyle Ottoman came out with a new book uh, called One at a Time. And it talks about discipling the way Jesus discipled, one at a time. And so, uh, again, when I heard this song, it just kind of went along with, I'm about halfway through this book right now. And so, in fact, he opens it up in chapter one saying, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're taught at younger ages to what we can and can't do, you know, especially in church, within organizations, around people, whatever. And one of those things was it was frowned upon is, you know, praying with your eyes open, you know, and, and you know, I don't know if you had any experiences like I had, but it's like, close your eyes, close your eyes, come over here. And my first thought was, how did you know my eyes were open? <laughs> you know? but, but anyway, um, <clears throat> you know, seeing people, Seeing people, maybe they're hurting, maybe they're going through a hard time, maybe they just need a little prayer, and I'm praying for them. Wow. Uh, it moves you, right? It moves you. Take action. You know, words are nothing without action. And so, uh, very powerful. Anyway, all right. What book are you reading or course, or what are you doing for personal growth? Put that in the comments below also. And then I'm still tracking, you know, my daily check-ins, you know, checking out with my friends. I, I still try to reach out to someone different every day that I haven't talked to in a while. I had some really kind of cool uh, texting going back and forth uh, with some of them. Some of them I'll, I'll reach through on Messenger on Facebook and, uh, again, have some good conversations. It might be a while before we have another conversation, but, man, it was, it was definitely a blessing for that day. Just staying in touch, right? Um, and then, you know, what went well and what went not so well. And, um, you know, Amelia's progress is definitely some things that's, that's, that's going well. Um, she's still battling cancer, which is some things not going so well. Um, I, I talk a lot about puppies right now because the puppies are, you know, they're a little over six weeks old, about to be seven weeks old. And I'm ready for them to go to their forever home. I love that I'm going through this experience. It's I've never had puppies before. I've, I've bonded with all eight of them. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to give them up, but they gotta go. They gotta go. Um, but they're just they're beautiful and they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of work. Um, 
but we're struggling to find any, any homes for them. You know, it's what we're learning. Uh, you know, we've always adopted you know, shelter dogs, giving them homes. Um, I won't say always, but mostly, okay, gotten, gotten our, um, our fur babies, extended family members uh, from shelters, or strays that we couldn't find homes for, right? Because there's, there's, there is a big need. Shelters are, are filled, right? They're overflowing. Um, people are trying to find homes for animals, whether they can't keep anymore, or maybe they found and just don't want to take to the shelter. Unfortunately, shelters are having to put down some, some babies, a certain amount of babies each you know, uh, week, cats and dogs. Uh, it's very sad. Something, just a thought, my wife and I, you know, we were thinking, about you know maybe maybe looking into starting up some type of rescue ourselves because there is a need for it. there is a need and and again doing these morning routines it's nothing that I haven't known my whole life I've read self help books most of my life and it's just taking the actions but now that I'm actually taking the actions and staying focused what is God calling me to do you know what what is it that I feel like He's tugging on my heart and maybe it's a start up a rescue service. I don't know. I, I don't know. But I, that is a thought that we've, we've been talking about. Um, tracking my meals. Again, what's going good? What's not going good? It's, it's been a fantastic week. It's, it's really been a good week. How's your week going? Where are your struggles? Have you thought about you know doing the carnivore diet to, to lose weight? If you haven't seen my update at week 21, check it out. Let me know how your week's going. Let me know what your struggles are going. I, I can't thank you enough for this channel, uh, the, the love that you've shown, the support. Thank you so much for the encouragement. Uh, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. Consider sharing it with others. Hey, we can't be the only ones that, you know, kind of trying to figure out, hey, where do we fit in this life, right? Uh, how can we improve our faith, our health, and finances? If you've been thinking about doing the carnivore diet or just want to see what it's about, click the download below. Tweak it to fit your lifestyle. We're all different. If you have any questions, just reach out. All right, until next time, God bless. Keep grilling.